I just went right up to the, the RCMP and said, hey, you know, this guy, this person, individual, has our PTSD and, you know, he needs, we got to do something about it. This Canadian veteran recalls the moment police showed up at her door and escorted her to an active police scene with a suicidal veteran with a weapon. It was a veteran in desperate need of help, and Terry Orser was the perfect person to call. But I wanted him to come out peacefully and, and you know, try to work through this, right? Um, in the end, it, it worked out, um, so that that's a good thing. The individual suffering from PTSD was able to relate to Orser, who was also diagnosed with PTSD in 2007 after 27 years in the Army. Three hours later, the veteran came out of his house peacefully. She, that connection that we had with her uh, that day really led to a uh, safe and successful negotiation. West Shore RCMP Corporal Nancy Sagar was at the scene as the crisis negotiator. Sagar said Orser played a key role in resolving the situation safely. She was really able to uh, give us um, you know, not only information, but kind of a, a, a good perspective because someone who's experiencing a crisis, they're not always necessarily open to speaking to the police. For Orser, having PTSD during and after her service in the military has been a grueling mental task. But it's the sheer strength that she's gained through her recovery that she now uses to help veterans every day. We're just here to make sure that they're safe, secure, they f they're, they're, they're grounded and they have a place to start over again. Orser co-chairs the Veterans House, which is funded by Legion's grants and donations, all to help nine former homeless veterans at a time start a new life. But her work goes beyond this house. So, you know, help them with their Veterans Affairs claims. If they, um, somebody feels like they might want to commit suicide, I sometimes get a phone call. Um, you know, things like that. It's it's. Every day is different for me. I, I don't know when I wake up exactly what's going to happen. So Remembrance Day is approaching this year. What do you want Canadians to be thinking of right now? Well, I think they should be remembering the reason that we're here, uh, the reason that we have our freedom, uh, remembering everybody that's been before us who suffered, um, the ones that are with us now that they're Scars are invisible scars. It's really important to not only remember those that have sacrificed for us, but also the ones that have come back, that are still in our communities, that are veterans and need our help. And that's exactly what Terry represents. As she continues to help those who need it the most, the 61-year-old is hopeful that this Remembrance Day, people will put on a poppy, pay their respects, and make a donation to Veterans House.